I'm not a bachelor, but I guess I kind of am because my wife lives in Thailand. So this is how I survive without her. What I do need desperately is a cutting board. For those of you who don't know, this is female bacon. And in my personal opinion, it's phenomenal. I like this better than any other kind of bacon. And you can tell I'm no professional chef. Everything I'm doing. I see YouTube videos. I watch a lot of cooking YouTube videos and I get ideas from there. But I do everything based on the ingredients that I have. So... I take somebody else's cooking and I make it my own based on what I have. And this is how I learn to do something. Most of the time it turns out delicious. Sometimes not so much. But this is what I do. Okay, I've chopped that up. Put it in my saucepan, and that's ready, to, but I'm not going to put it on just yet, because this, I'm going to do this first. I'm waiting for my grill. While I'm waiting for my grill, I'm going to add a little bit of this virgin olive oil to each one of these slices of sunflower whole wheat bread. Feel free to use whatever kind of bread you want. Now, I'm going to do three eggs. You'll notice I don't do a lot of measuring. When I'm using somebody else's idea based on the ingredients I have, I just fly by the seat of my pants but when I'm doing a more precise recipe that I want to have done exactly the way it's done that's when I'll do the measuring okay my grill is 400 degrees back bacon or pea meal bacon in there. I put pepper in the eggs and a little bit of this. Just a bit because this can be salty. A little bit of olive oil that's filled onto this plate. Put it in here. I just added about another teaspoon worth right there. That should be all of that that I need. I think I'm even going to add a little bit of this cayenne pepper. I got it and I don't know what to do with it so I'm just going to put a bit in here in the eggs. So I want to use it. And this uh, ground ginger. Just a bit. I'm just looking for flavors, you know. I need to see if this stuff is gonna be any good. So I've got salt, not pepper. No, I don't have salt. I have pepper. I have this. I 
I really like this instead of salt because it's it's salty with a different kick to it. So that's why I'd rather use this than salt. That's that. I'm going to do something else here. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I got this garlic, minced, minced garlic. I'm going to take a little bit of that. I'm going to put a teaspoon in there. Now I'm going to put the egg in after I stir this in. one more time and get the garlic moved around. So then you just mix all these ingredients all together until the eggs are starting to look cooked. In the YouTube video that I watched for this idea, the lady was using a panini sandwich maker. I just have this grill that works good for cooking a lot of things. Grated Parmesan cheese. Just coat that. I'm going to say I used about an equivalent of a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more. Stir that in. I'm going to turn this off. Okay, that's what it looks like plated. Now I'm going to add one more thing. Freeze dried chives. I'm going to put a little bit on one of them. Maybe two. And one I'll leave alone. Just to see. See how I like it. Now, put my cutting board in the bin. Let's try it out. Work. Knife. Wish you were here, Nutch. Try my uh, cooking. All right, let's see. I swear I should open a restaurant. Nothing is that good. Oh my goodness. I'm probably going to put chives on my last piece. 
Oh my goodness. I have olive oil, virgin olive oil. Makes the flavors pop. Wow. Yeah. If you've watched any of my other videos, you mm. cooking videos, you know I don't have a kitchen table to sit down at. <laughs> Spread. I'm putting chives on the third piece. I don't know why I said garlic spread. This is my lunch. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up at the very least. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. Good.